Let's start with a very easy one, like a hello world one, just to show you uh, the whole beauty. So we will create a box here just with three different variables. These are our sliders. We connect them like length, width, and height. And uh, we will um, yeah, see, we can change the sliders. You, you see the, the uh, geometry updates directly in the viewer. And as a first evaluation, we just want to get the volume out of it. So what are the steps now to bring this into Scenario Run? We have this new side panel on the left where you can open all the workflow properties. And then you set up the inputs which gets these nice orange surroundings. And then you have to specify the output, in this case, the number for the volume. We will rename the number container to volume to make it more obvious for the end user later on the website, and then mark this as an output grip with these uh, blue surrounding. Now we define the box which we want to visualize in the three viewer. We save the whole workflow, and then it's just one click. You go on File, Publish to Scenario Run, this machine, and that's it. You will get immediately the URL back, and your whole workflow is already deployed in the web. You can um, use the viewer. You can see the preview here. You have all the input sliders. If you toggle the auto run button, you see the immediate actions and the output on the right with the volume as an output control. So this was just the beginning. You can really create all the workflows you have in mind now for the run environment, and to show you another bestseller in our ecosystem. It's a topo reconstruction based with the convert to quad mesh and mesh to solid operation for the subdivision modeling. So what we are doing here, we grab this template from our template engine. We presented last time. We will just rename the input as a mesh. And normally, we want to give the people the possibility to get an OBG file and a step file. So you do not even need the export OBG. You can just grab a mesh container as an output and a solid body as an output. And then it's really the same routine as I sh have shown you for before with the box. So you open the workflow properties again. You give it a, a name just to make it easier for your end users. Then you define the inputs on the left, in this case, the mesh, and the solid body and the mesh on the right. You see the blue surrounding again. Then um, I will show you how it will look like. So this could be a, a model you would like to process with this algorithm. So this is an STL. You put it in the mesh container just to see what you will expect when you um, process this kind of uh, geometry. And when I now toggle the visible nodes, you see this is a NURBS geometry you would like to get out. And now we save it, and we want to deploy it again in Scenario Run. So we click on it, and here we go. This time, we have a nicely designed uh, upload dialog. So you can select it from your hard drive. Then it gets uploaded. It's directly computed. You see the preview of the subdivision modeling. And the two containers allow you to download it in any kind of file format you have already pre-installed and also licensed. 